Zimbabwean government decision to return land to former white owners has sparked a debate among the people affected. While well, farmers who build houses and live with their families are disputed land areas are now left worried for or of their future. Experts say that uh, ex I beg your pardon. Experts say the uh, compensation could provide a solution despite the matter being at the court. Well, for more details of that, we go with this report. Half of the 22,000 hectare Forrester estate that was protected by a bilateral treaty between Zimbabwe and Germany was occupied by dozens of black farmers during the land reform program. Some of them are now anxious about their future here. I am surprised to hear that Forrester can repossess this land. And to tell the truth, my colleagues have talked about offer letters and other things, but here, the big weight is that we are utilizing land. We produce maize here, uh, we send to the GMP, we produce tobacco uh, to different companies, but I know uh, that tobacco is supporting government in terms of foreign currency as much as we know. So I don't expect uh, the government to say to us, you must go back home. The farmers who occupied this land did so back in 2002. Since then, they've raised their families here, built their homes, worked the land and developed their farms from scratch. And so for them, this is the only home they know. They're adamant that they won't move. The bilateral agreement has nothing to do with us. All we know is that we were given this land by our government and told we would be here forever. The government insists that former landowners can only return where feasible. It's agreed to pay three and a half billion US dollars in compensation to the others for improvements on the land. But that constitutionally provided payoff is being challenged in court. We believe that it is overcompensation which does not take into account the fundamental requirements of section 72 subsection 7 that originally this land was stolen through violence, through robbery and developed through slave labor. It's hoped the compensation will bring closure to the contentious issue. You couldn't get significant investment on farms that had conflict. But if you remove that conflict, obviously it creates the opportunity for people to go back on that land and make it productive. By opening up the space and investment in this sector, I think we, you know, we, can, we can begin to see agriculture booming. And if it does, as you know, the, the multiply effect on the rest of the economy benefits everyone. The agricultural sector is the largest employer. It supplies 60% of industrial raw materials and accounts for over 40% of exports.